Hello guys, I am back with another editing tutorial. This time I am doing a photo editing tutorial in which I am going to create a cinematic orange and teal look as you see here using Adobe Photoshop as you guys requested on my Instagram for this photo which I posted. So I hope you enjoy this Adobe Photoshop photo editing tutorial. Let's watch the intro and then I will start the editing process. As you see here, I have opened my raw photo in Adobe Photoshop Camera Raw Editor and the first thing I always do is to go to the optics and check the remove chromatic aberration I'll also enable the use profile corrections for my lens which is the Sony FE85. The second step I always do is to change the profile from Adobe Color to Adobe Neutral and as you see by doing this, we bring a lot of details back in the shadow areas and also we make the highlights really soft and flat. Uh, we are reducing the contrast by doing this step which gives us a really good starting point for editing the photo. I took this photo around blue hour and as you see it is a little bit uh, cold. So I'm going to the temperature slider and I will increase the temperature as you see here and I will make this photo a little bit warmer. I think it is good and then uh, the, th uh, the third thing I'm going to do is to decrease the highlights. I will decrease the highlights to bring back some of, the, some of the details in the highlights. We do not have much details in the highlights but by doing this step we are making our highlights really soft and cinematic. As you see in the movies the highlights are really important par part of a movie, uh, cinematic mood and feeling. So we want our highlights to be really soft. Then I will increase my shadows to bring some of the details back in the shadow areas in my subject because I took this photo a little bit underexposed in order to save my highlights. Then I will give this photo a little bit of saturation so we have a little bit of saturation to start the photo editing process. This is the first step for my uh, raw development and then I press the OK and I will show you the next steps. Now we have our photo opened in Adobe Photoshop with the basic adjustments which we did in the camera raw editor. As you see here I have a retouching group here which I did the retouching for this photo. I fixed the hair, did some dodging and burning and also fix some stuff here. Guys, I'm not going to uh, go over retouching process in this tutorial because I want to keep it short and mainly focus on the color grading process. But if you like to see mo more about my uh, retouching process and other tutorials about retouching, please tell me in the comments. I will be glad to do some tutorials, tutorials on the retouching and dodge and burn in the future. So in the retouching layer, I, I fixed these parts as you see here, I made this line straight and also I did some dodging and burning on my subject and also fixed the hair and did some liquify on his hair. Now the main and interesting part of the process is the color grading which I am really excited about it. I am going to create a new layer from these layers, I will merge this layer and create a new layer, the shortcut is Control alt shift e as you see here. I made a layer from these two and combined them. This doesn't change anything. Uh, and I'm going to change this uh, layer to uh, smart filters. And I will do the my final color grading process always in the camera raw editor. Let me open the camera raw filter. As you see here uh, in the camera raw filter with the latest update which Adobe Photoshop gave us this color grading wheels which is, which is really dramatic and awesome. We can really create some cinematic photos. It gives us the feel of DaVinci Resolve uh, wheels which I'm really glad they gave us this wheels, midtones, shadows and highlights. I'm really glad that we have this in the Adobe Photoshop's camera raw editor. First in the basics I will uh, I, I think that my blacks are a little bit uh, bright I am going to decrease my blacks to make them a little bit darker as you see here it depends on you whether you like your blacks to be really dark or you want them to be uh, bright it depends on you I like my blacks really contrasty so I, I bring them down here as you see here if I check this 
Now some of the parts of my photo, as you see, are pitch black and I'm really pleased with it. Then I always decrease a little bit of my vibrance and saturation because I do not want a lot of color in the photo. As you know, we are doing a cinematic color grading and we are going to focus more on the tones rather than colors. So uh, we will uh, focus on our tones, our highlights, mid-tones and shadows. I will uh, start by, by the highlights wheel as you see here. I always expand this part because it's easier to work with these uh, sliders instead of dragging this wheel. It's not really easy and you do not have great control on them. So I always uh, start with, with this uh, hue, saturation and luminance. And as you see for the highlights, uh, which is the these bright parts of the scene, I want to make um, I want to give some uh, teal to my highlights uh, in order to create my complementary colors, which is orange and teal. So I will give this highlights part a little bit of teal color. As you see, I'm just changing the hue. You do not see any difference because I have not introduced any luminance or saturation. Now I'm going to add some saturation. As you see, we are seeing we are we are seeing the cyan's, which are being introduced in the highlights. I'm just increasing this. It depends on you how much you want to go further, but I'm not going a lot. I I think here is enough. And for the luminance, I'm going to again decrease this really so much because again, as I said, because we are doing a cinematic editing, we want the highlights, we do not want the highlights to go really high. Now for our midtones, we are going to introduce some orange in the midtones, as you see here. I'm changing the hue to some orange color, to some orange hue, excuse me. For example, 38, I think is good, 37, 38. And we are adding some saturation. As you see, we are giving some warmth to the photo, making the midtones a little bit orangey, as you see here. And also, I'm going to again decrease the luminance to make my midtones a little bit darker, not much, a little bit. And for the shadows, also, I want to make my shadows uh, give them some orange or red. Uh, tint because I feel that uh, it's a little bit cold here in my shadows so I'm going to change the hue to somewhere around here a little bit I want it a little bit uh, red or orange between red or orange and I will introduce some saturation not so much you should not go really far a little bit of saturation here is good as you see it changes the photo it is a little bit of effect but it makes a huge difference as you see and i will decrease the luminance to give some contrast to my shadows as you see here it depends on you uh, whether you want your shadows to be really contrasty as i said like your blacks i really like my shadows contrasty so i'm going to decrease my the luminance of my shadows and as you see i make the shadows really contrasty here here we can check the before and after where we have come with this color grading process as you see here. And another important step which I always do is going to the effects tab and uh, introduce a lot of grain which is a really important part of my cinematic color grading whether we are I am doing a color grading in DaVinci Resolve or Adobe Photoshop I'm going to introduce a lot of grain to my photo which makes the photo really cinematic and also a little bit of vignette for this photo would help it a lot and I will press OK and let's see a before and after where we have come as you see here now if I zoom on the photo you will see that we have a lot of grain and when I think it gives a lot of character and mood to this photo and I really like the effect of the grain and also this cinematic orange and teal color grading which I did on this photo. Now let's watch the final before and after once again. Guys, I hope you like this editing tutorial. If you liked it, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up 
and consider subscribing if you are interested in photo editing tutorials, filmmaking tutorials and much more. Have a great day and I will see you in my next videos.